So, hello guys and welcome to this week's tutorial. In this one I'm going to be showing you this really cool particle animation. It's really simple to make, so you guys should have fun with it. Uh, just before we get going, guys, thank you for your support. Hit the sub button, helps out the channel a lot. And yeah, let's get right into it. So, without further ado, I'm just going to go into Blender. I'm um, just going to delete my camera on this um, mic. I don't want to get it out of here. So, first time I'm going to leave the default cube here, grab on the X, move it out a bit, shift A, now add in a curve, add in a path, and start modeling it out. So, I'm just going to model out a like circle, like a loop de doop, and that's it. Um, come, just move it over here. And yeah, just this is all we need to do. So I'm just going to move it. I'm going to give it some depth. So I'm going to grab these two points, grab on the Y, grab on the Y, and move these points, grab on the Y, grab on the Y. Oh, come on. Um, grab on the Y. Done. So that's our whole modeling. And if we look at this, this looks like nothing much, but I'm just going to add in the particle settings so i'm going to go into particle settings so it's here click the plus and press emitter keep it out of emitter but nothing's happening so what do we need to do we're going to go into the physics settings of the curve and give it a force field and change it to curve guide well okay now we have this moving around change this to a uh, break and increase the frequency um uh, the shape and increase the amplitude a little bit and for now, this doesn't look like much, but if we start increasing the frequency a little bit, we've got something going on. So I'm just going to scale up my cube a little bit, grab on the X, move it out of the way. And now I am going to give it more particles. So make it um, like 50,000, 50,000. Okay, that's it. Okay, we can see the type of movement we have, but this is really fast and I don't want this. So I'm going to change this to 240 frames and I'm going to change the frame end to uh, 80 frames so it's going to end in 80 frames and then i'm going to change the lifetime of each particle to 160 frames so now we've got this the particles are going to move around and in all our 240 frames they're going to stop and yeah and that's the kind of movement we have but these little balls we have here don't look nice so i'm going to add an icosphere so icosphere grab it on the x move it out of the way and now in the particle settings, we go back and we change the render from halo to object. And so our object, we choose our object to the icosphere. Now we've got our little icospheres moving around, which looks nice. I'm going to decrease our size a bit. So let's decrease the size a bit and increase the scale randomness to something like this. And okay, perfect. We've done our animation. Uh, I'm just going to move this movies to, to the side a bit and Okay, but I don't like that it's so thick at the end. So what I'm gonna do is here back into the uh, force field settings, I'm gonna change the clumping amount to one and then the shape to, well, basically one, point uh, 0.4. And we've got this animation. So let's start lighting this first. I'm just gonna move these around, just grab on the, grab on the Z. Okay, move these up. Then I'm gonna add in my camera, shift A, add in a camera. Come on, camera, control zero. Okay, we've got our camera. I'm gonna change the focal length to 40 and move it into place. So I'm gonna move it into here, grab on the Z. Okay, perfect. And I don't like that this point here is really far away from me. So I'm gonna move it towards me. So these points, these particles move into my screen. And that's it. So what I'm gonna do finally is add in a plane, shift A, add in the plane, scale it up by like scale it up. I'm just gonna increase its size so it like covers everything here. And I'm gonna tap into edit mode. S press two, extrude on Z. Okay, we've got this, and I'm gonna add in a bevel modifier, increase the amount a little bit, segments, and that's it, and then shade it smooth. Okay, so let's like this C. Um I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. Okay. And grab this on the Z. So I want to move it out of the way because we're going to give it some lighting. So if we go into the shading tab, press zero. I'm going to render view. I'm going to turn off the strength of the light. I have my icosphere selected. And I'm going to change this to an emission. 
uh, mission. So plug the emission into the surface and we've got light going on. I'm going to change this to like 200. Okay, we've got our light. Um, I'm going to turn on ambient occlusion also, bloom and squeeze space reflections. So, okay, we've got something going on, but it's just one color. It doesn't look nice. So we're going to add a new color on, plug that into here. Oh, don't, don't, damn it, wrong place. Plug the color ramp into here, my bad. Uh, control, cut, cut, okay. So now I'm gonna shift it, um, add in a gradient texture. Okay, so we've got our gradient texture, we plug that into here, nothing changed. So what I'm gonna do is press control T, if I have no render enabled. And just, if you don't, go into edit, preferences and type in no render. And so we go plug the camera into a vector Okay, but now we just have two colors and this looks disgusting. So I'm gonna change the black into a nice red and then I'm gonna change the white to a nice um, blue. Okay, so what, what have we got? So, oh my God, I plugged, yeah. So we've got this going on. Okay, so we have our nice two colors, but you see there's a very harsh gradient in between. So what I'm gonna do is add in a, um, uh, noise texture, noise texture, plug that into here, but now we just mixed everything in, but now we're just going to add in a mix RGB, mix RGB, and, and then plug the camera back into a bottle. So now we're mixing our noise texture and our just camera coordinate. So now I'm just going to bring it back and then now we can see that they don't mix as much. So there's a bit of a softer gradient in between the two colors. So if we look at this now, we have our perfect animation with a nice smooth gradient that looks nice and it just feels amazing. So I'm just going to add in a uh, texture to the plane. So I'm just, all I'm going to do is decrease the roughness and turn up the specular. Finito la musica. Um, and yeah, that's it. So let's go into the exporting tab. I'll call it, um, I love my viewers. Okay, and I'm gonna change the file format to FFmpeg, encode it to MP4, and output quality to perceptual losses. And that's how you get this awesome animation. So hit F12, render this out as an image, Control F12, render this out as an animation, and you get this awesome looking animation. So if you guys like this video, Press the like button, comment down below if you want to see anything specific. Um, I'll always read your comments. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.